I've had the privilege to lead a project looking into the future of KTH education. And uh, we decided that the outcome of this project should be represented in some form. And uh, the most classic form of communication from a university is, after all, its course catalog. So we made a fictitious catalog of KTH education for the academic year 2027-2028. My plan here today is to uh, walk you through a few spreads of this catalog. Uh, do not worry about the fine print. Uh, time enough, you will get your own copy of this that you can, can peruse all the details of. I just want to highlight certain things. Maybe first we start to, to look at the picture. Why do you think we have a jellyfish representing a technical university? Well, this jellyfish is, is, uh, doesn't age. So in, in, in theory, it's immortal, probably it's getting eaten before that, but um, it has a gene that was identified uh, last year in 2026 by KTH researchers. And um, uh, we now have great expectations on, uh, on this gene in, for anti-aging products. Here we have a timeline of KTH. We now are here at 2027, and we celebrate 200 years of KTH. It was started in 1827 as the Stockholm Technical Institute. Along the way, we have had several milestones that we passed, and we also have some achievements that we have celebrated. For instance, we have the uh, Nobel Prize in Physics uh, given to, to Professor Henna Silvén. We had the first KTH faculty in space, also the first Swedish space, Kiste Fuglesang, and we're very happy just two years ago uh, we, we had Idri Ström receiving the Nobel Prize in Physiology. This is how a KTH education looks today in 2027. We allow an early entry into to the KTH offering at the KTH Junior Academy. This is a preschool activity, also run as summer and winter camps, where, we, where children can, can engage in, in uh, technology and engineering training and mathematics. The formal education starts off the secondary school and uh, starts with, with uh, three months of intensive studies on the KTH campus in mathematics, programming and data analytics. Uh, some students find that that's enough of campus experience, so after three months they decide they, they leave the university and start working, but they will continue to engage as students in, in, uh, and training themselves to, to get more education than the first three months. Others find that they got their appetite for, for, for deeper studies and will continue to do, immerse themselves into the subject of their choosing. KTH offers subjects, many subjects in the engineering and sciences, and all the subjects are structured in, in various levels. So you can always level to the next uh, level, w get deeper and deeper into the subject by, by going level by level. Another thing that you may not be used uh, to before is that you, you s structure your, your studies according to your own schedule. Some work and study at the same time. And the part of how much you study and how much you work is at your own schedule and your own desires for your life plan. Your studies can be on campus, they can be online in real time to have interactive experience, but also everything is available asynchronously. Another thing is that once you get admitted to KTH, you're a member of KTH lifetime, which means that you have full access to all KTH KTH edu uh, education uh, to serve you and uh, to develop throughout your career. So we see here a person who in some area has reached level 23 and is now uh, adding a special module on leadership with the goal of, of running a business. The studies for KTH is of course here at the campus. Uh, but we also have seven other camp 17 campuses around the world where, where st our students uh, spend time. They can freely move between one campus and another. Um, and at all the campuses, they get provided housing by a partner company called Housing on Demand, Hood. And uh, uh, they may move to places where they find the topics of, of their study, where they can apply the topics of their study. So. Um, um, uh, if, you, if you 
want to, to work with mining, maybe, maybe you move to, to the areas in Latin America where there's mining going on, and so forth. These new campuses have been created by local people uh, getting access to, to the starter kit that KTH provides. So it's very easy to set up a new campus for KTH, uh, establishing a, a location and then having access to all the education that KTH provides. Here are some portraits of uh, uh, KTH members. These are three uh, full-time uh, students right now. We have a uh, woman, Charlie, who is a, a civil engineer and uh, is working, in, uh, come from northern Sweden, but is now living in Lagos and working with uh, groundwater management in, in an urban area. We have uh, Alan, who um, is uh, commuting between uh, Stockholm and uh, Falköping in Sweden, where he works on waste management. And we have Alice, who has a degree in, um, in civil construction engineering, uh, has worked for several years, uh, but found a problem in her industry of uh, corruption, and especially with procurements, and returned to KTH to get a degree in, in computer science in order to work on systems to, uh, get rid of, uh, to, to make transparency uh, so that you, you can uh, avoid any corruption and bribery in, in uh, the field of business that she's in. All KTH students and all the KTH members get access to a, their own personalized AI mentor, uh, which stays with them for life. So this student here has decided that, that, uh, that his uh, mentor is called Albert Gernstein, and Albert and, and the student have just engaged on, 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 on their educational tour together. They've had the boot camp, the three months in introductory experience, and they've had the data science course, and have just made a choice between two life paths. And these students have decided that he wants to, to be um, an architect, and he's now studying adaptive architecture, which is the idea that architecture should adapt to people rather than as it used to be where... where uh, people had to adapt to the built architecture. And you see the life path is, is sketched out here with the student together with Albert, uh, having a milestone here with, with uh, work training in China and along towards the long-term goal of uh, establishing an architecture firm on uh, uh, sustainable and data-driven changes of society. The faculty of KTH, we, we call them coaches, um, are responsible for continuously developing new material uh, for, 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 our, uh, for the education. So we, we are very happy that we just released seven new levels in mathematics, for instance, to challenge uh, everyone. And we have two examples here. We have uh, Pons Gardner, who, who is in disciplinary uh, field of um, uh, mecha mechanical engineering, where he is uh, uh, working to, to uh, get, uh, develop more levels on, on the field that, that he is in. Uh, another profile is uh, uh, Zeynep Svensson, who is working on broader challenges, on societal challenges, engaging students in, in big projects of addressing real uh, uh, problems that we have. And her specialty is large-scale simulations. She actually can simulate the whole system with the flow of people, the flow of goods, and, and the flow of energy. When the students have obtained a certain level of, uh, of studies, we, we had the degree of civil engineer as a milestone, and then we call them alumni. And uh, most alumni are predominantly working um, but still maintaining a contact to KTH, where they uh, take courses. Um, and here are three examples of, of what KTH alumni can be active doing. Uh, we have Fatima Law, who is uh, uh, working with a data-driven legal system for the Swedish Tax Authority. We have Oscar Johansson, who works as a conflict resolution uh, officer out in the field of uh, various conflict uh, situations in the world. And he works as an independent uh, officer uh, without any staff. And he relies on the KTH students 
to do research, to simulate developments, uh, various solutions that he can propose in the, the conflict situation that he's trying to, to resolve. So he's his research staff and his back office is basically the KTH student while he can work on his own. And then we have an alumna Boa, who uh, 77, who returned uh, to KTH in order to implement uh, a new program that he saw a need for in uh, ethics and philosophy coupled to, to, to engineering. KTH has a wide network of companies that we work with. Some are founded by our own students or an alumni, and other companies are, are traditional companies that, that uh, we, KTH worked with historically. Here are a few examples. You recognize I mentioned the, the housing on demand. Uh, this is a partner company. They are the ones providing housing for our students when they move around at the various campuses in the world. We have uh, this company, Petrol, which makes uh, nano-submarines that um, you can inject in the arteries and they clean up uh, the arteries. Uh, we work with the Swedish National Agency for Education to provide a, a virtual rea augmented reality support for, for teachers. Um, we have um, this company, I, which, which has... Um, uh, massively multiplayer online role-playing game where you can create your own avatar and participate in. And we have Nordisk Skog, which makes uh, edible cellulose composites that can be 3D printable in your own kitchen to make fancy things. Um, we also have a, working with companies in other countries like uh, QED Tech, which, which uh, is um, a telecom company uh, doing fleet management of uh, solar-powered vehicles in, in Indonesia. Since every student follows his or her own path, uh, advised by the AI mentor, uh, we've given up on the idea that used to be on education programs. So, to give some inspiration for vo what you can study, we, we set up certain um, course combinations. And these course combinations can be something that you like and you follow the combination as given, or you see that as a theme that you can improvise on top of. So I will show you two course combinations. This one is data-driven service and product development in biotechnology. And you have a representative student who is taking this course combination. And we illustrate uh, the studies in terms of levels, which is the level of difficulty or, or uh, depth of, of the subject you study, and then different subject as, as you move uh, angularly uh, around the circles here. So um, this course combination has uh, mathematics and data science and computer science. It also has a large amount of biotechnology and design courses in, in on top of that. There's, this is a different program. It's called an expert training in social engineering. So this relates to engineering principles applied to societal problems. And uh, the student here uh, may uh, come from, from another background, an engineer background, maybe a person who studied humanities before, um, social sciences, and has a different skill, so need to be started up on engineering side uh, in, in training for, for uh, um, this field. And then uh, there's a, a, a broad sense of course combinations going out to, to higher levels. We have um, um, a large selection of, of companies that we're very proud of, which have uh, come out of the research being done at the university and by the initiative of our students. Um, and uh, this company is, is one of the most successful ones in the, in the last years. It's called Second Skin. And uh, their product is um, uh, both um, synthetic skin that you can have on prosthetics. They also make... Uh, um, 
synthetic skin where, where you can program the decor so um, you can change your, your appearance by, by reprogramming the, the skin that you have on your body and you can also reset your, your natural skin to, to anti-aging so that it, it, it you rejuvenate it by about 30 years in appearance um, and you can do that uh, two three times uh, and they had just been uh, awarded the KTH spin-off uh, Ventures Award and, and is one of the fine examples that we uh, want to highlight now in 2027. So, with this I have walked you through this um, fictitious uh, course catalogue of the academic year 2027-2028. Uh, we hope that this uh, catalog will inspire change of education, its concrete vision of how education could be in 10 years' time. And it's a vision, of course, that uh, uh, can be modified and discussed, pros and cons, and, and uh, uh, could even be, of course, rejected that it's not attractive. I'm very happy to have had the chance to, to lead this project, and I would like to acknowledge some of the persons that have contributed to this. Um, my colleagues Vaki Jansson at RISE 6 uh, Institute, and uh, Anna Karlsson at Boris Design, who is behind this design fiction together with our KTH colleague Jarmo Laxolachti. Uh, we also uh, had worked with two uh, uh, writers who have um, uh, come up with the stories and the fine print in the catalogue that, that I didn't highlight much, um, Anna Connie Lampo and Magnus Fallien Trugan. We also worked with a, a larger number of uh, colleagues, uh, both at KTH and outside KTH, which uh, generated the ideas that are now manifested in this uh, catalogue. So uh, with that, I um, hope I have given you a glimpse of a possible future for KTH in 10 years' time, and um, thank you for your attention.